What is up guys, my name is Brandon and this is DIY Vlogger. In this video I'm going to show you guys how I made a $50 camera using a Raspberry Pi and a Raspberry Pi camera and the Berry Cam app. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. First you're going to need to download Raspbian onto your micro SD card, so put that into your computer and open up SD card formatter if you already have something on your SD card. This will remove everything from your SD card so you can install Raspbian. And once that's done, go and check your SD card to make sure it's empty, and then you can open an application called Etcher or Windows 32 Disk Imager. Select the image that you want to install onto your uh, micro SD card, and in this case it's going to be Raspbian, uh, Raspbian Stretch. So just double click that and it's going to automatically recognize the card. Click flash, wait for it to finish, and you should be good to go. So now you can put the micro SD card into your Raspberry Pi. And you're also going to want to plug in your camera. Alright guys, so I hooked up my Raspberry Pi to my, my TV so I can change the Wi-Fi settings. Up in the top right corner, there's this little icon here. Click that and select your Wi-Fi network and type in the password to connect to Wi-Fi. You are going to need to have Wi-Fi to use this project. And that should do it. Let's see if that works. Alright, and we are connected, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the terminal and type in ifconfig and hit enter. Alright, so once you hit enter on the ifconfig, this stuff will show up and it's going to show your IP address. So that should be this right here, inet 192.168.1235. So that's what you need to type in in the app. And next what we can do is download the program so that we can use the app. And then once you type in CD Home Pi, you just need to copy the code in below. Just copy the code down below and then right click on your terminal and hit paste and this big old line of stuff will come up just hit enter and everything you need will download and then just make sure it, it worked correctly by typing in ls it should say barrycam.py right here and that's how you can tell if the install worked or not alright next just type in sudo python slash home slash pi slash berry can dot py alright and now it says listening on port 8000 and this program will run in the background now all we have to do is grab your phone and connect to the app on iOS, you're going to need to install the app BerryCam, but if you have an Android device, you're going to need to install PySight. They both work the same, and this method that I just showed you works exactly the same for both apps. Once you download BerryCam, it'll show up on your home screen, so you can just tap it. And this screen will show up, and it will say Pi is not connected. 
So to connect your Pi, hit the settings icon, scroll down and hit IP address and change your IP address to the one that you found on your Raspberry Pi. You're also going to need to change your camera model depending on which version of Raspberry Pi camera you have. I have the version 2 so I clicked that one. Um, there's also lots of different settings you can change like size, quality, uh, saturation, contrast, sharpness, exposure. There's even lots of image effects like posterize, things like that. Tons of settings that you can mess around with. But I'm just going to leave mine at the standard settings for now. So you can just hit done. And now it will say that the Pi is connected. So to take a picture, you can just hit the camera button and it will load the picture. It does take a while to capture the picture, so you're going to have to have either steady hands or a tripod for your Raspberry Pi camera. And it will show up on your phone just like this. Now the pictures might show up uh, upside down, so to change that you can hit horizontal flip and take another picture and it should fix the problem and it looks like this didn't fix the problem it's probably just a, it's probably just a bug um, but you can save the image by clicking that button next to the camera all right next I'm going to just show a few pictures that I took from the Raspberry Pi camera and comparing them to pictures taken with my iPhone 6 so check this out That is it for this video guys, I hope you did enjoy it, if you did please consider liking and subscribing to my channel, it would really help me out a lot if you did that. Also, please leave a comment if you have an idea for a future video that I could do, I'll definitely look at that and see if I can make a video like that. So that's all for today guys, peace out.